Alright everybody, welcome back to another video. So, I've just filmed the Ghostbusters sweets candy episode, so if I feel like I, I've still got a taste in my mouth, so if I stutter or spoke at any point during the video, it's because I can't get that taste out of my mouth of those goddamn old sweeties. So I've cleaned it out. So today we're going to look at my collection of Ghostbusters Diamond Select figures. Now, I've been very, very lucky that this wee collection I've got, only two of them I've had to actually buy myself. The rest have all been presents from people. Because I love Ghostbusters so much, I'm so damn easy to buy for. If it's got the Ghostbusters logo on it, and it's got nothing to do with the remake, oh, it's easy stuff. So I'm going to start off with two that my little boy's already done videos of on this channel, that he's un unboxed them, so these will be quick. First one is the Library Ghost, Eleanor Twitty. So yeah, so my son pretty much covered it. It comes with a terror dog, it comes with a stack of books, and it comes with a really detailed, nice pit figure of the library ghost that's awesome comes a nice picture on the back so i'll just stack that there so i'm not going to talk about it too much my son's pretty much covered that one as well as this gozer figure so it's pretty much covered the only thing my son didn't cover is like the heads are pretty much identical other than the mouths and maybe the eye placement so i'd like the different heads because i got a NECA gozer figure years ago that's since broken that came with two diff distinctive distinctively different heads they were pretty awesome. So we'll just set that bad boy up there. So now we're on to the ones that my son hasn't done videos on. We've not got unboxing. So these are not getting unboxed. These are staying in the boxes. Putting that out there right now. So let's make a bit more space because these are going to take up a lot of space. The one thing I don't like about these diamond select boxes that I like at the same time is the awesome big boxes. So next one we've got here is the Taxi Driver Zombie from Ghostbusters 1. He's got like a very, very, very brief appearance in the first Ghostbusters movie. But this figure is awesome. Look at the detail in this bad boy. Skin's rotting away. He's got his wee hat. He's got a nice, his, his coat's ripped. The detail in the hands, look at that. Right, you never got to see him from the from the torso down, so he, he looks like he's got wee ripped trousers. He doesn't have any shoes, so he's got one shoe. Comes with part of the base for, and it comes with a steering wheel. Very random. Comes with part of the base that makes the diorama if you buy the entire series. So if you buy the entire series, you can make that diorama. I do not have nearly anywhere near that amount of figures. So he can sit up there. So the next one we've got. Another present. I'll point out the two that I've had to buy myself. So so far they've all been presents, as is this one. So we've got Peter Venkman's slimes. My big sister Stephanie got me this. So the face in this one could be a lot better. It, it looks more. Yeah, it's the face could be a lot better, but the actual slime on the figure is awesome. The 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 slimed hands, like the equipment and everything just looks fantastic. Yeah, nice proton stream with him. So if you want to display him shooting the beam, that'd be great. So that could be when he's capturing Slimer and the, the Grand Hall. This one also comes with a terror dog I've just noticed. Never noticed that before. It comes with a terror dog. That's pretty cool. So, yep, so that'd be the both terror dogs for the diorama. So you can kind of see one in the background behind Ray and Janine there. So there's one there and there's one over there. Never, and honestly, I've never noticed he comes with a terror dog before. I kind of feel stupid now, so I'm going to set him here. Oh, hitting things. So the next one is Janine. So yeah, the figure looks cool. The glasses, okay, it's hard to get removable glasses that look good on an action figure. I'm not going to lie, that is a hard thing. It comes with the little but bell button that she hits when she's like, we got one! So you can reenact that. comes with some... Chinese takeaway cases, it comes with the phone that she answers. She just looks like Janine from movie, it comes with part of diorama. It has this nice picture of Janine. It's the same one it was in my trading card figure. That's I think it's a gorgeous picture of the actress Annie Potts. It's, it's really beautiful there. So yeah, so that, that figure looks a little bit better than the one that I've got in the box. I don't have any of them. I still think that slimer looks stupid. The arms look far too long for me. 
So there we go. So the way I've got these displayed is I see the sides of them. So I get to see a nice picture of Janine constantly. So this is the first of the two that I had to buy myself. So I got these for really cheap. I think I got them for like £5 each. So this is one. It's an action figure that almost every child who's seen Ghostbusters like, I want that action figure of that person. I really want a water pick. Now, water pick, as a, as a child, I didn't like him, but as an adult, I understand him now. He technically was in the right for the entire Ghostbusters movie. And they've got his smug, bastardy face. Perfect. It's fantastic. So there he is. It doesn't look smug in that picture. He looks raging. But that figure is perfect. Comes with part of the diorama. I don't think it comes with any accessories other than the diorama. So it's water pick. Who does not love water pick? So water pick. Oh, he was only in the first Ghostbusters movie, but he had a big, biggish part in the Ghostbusters game, and he's got quite a big part in the IDW Ghostbusters comic. He kept the Ghostbusters kind of answer to him now, which is quite cool. So this second one is the the second and the final Diamond Select figure that I've got that I paid for myself, cost me five pounds. Uh, it doesn't come in one of these giant boxes. It looks like it's from a re-release series. It doesn't come with any diorama, but I couldn't say no to it when I say it. It's we're back. Egon Spengler, so it's Egon, comes with a little Santa hat, comes with extra gloves, he's got his Ghostbusters 2 outfit on, and it comes with the little meter thingy, I can't remember the name of that from the second film. So yeah, it's, it's the sec second movie, Egon, the glasses look a lot better this day around, they've got his hair perfect. So this is from the Ghostbusters 2 range, so in this range you get Egon, you get so this is the same series my son got his Phantom Terror dog in, so as you can tell, I picked them both up the same day when I was picking up his present. So yeah, so that's the last one I bought for myself. So these are my Diamond Select Group. Ghostbusters figures, and that wouldn't stay standing. So I, so all of them bar Walter Peck and that I got his presents, so I'm quite lucky to have them. I always wanted Diamond Select figures when they first came out, but they're, they were extortionate. But recently they've been turning up in bargain stores for quite cheap, hence why people have been buying them. It's fantastic, so I'm quite happy to have these Diamond Slate figures. So, as you can probably tell, I'm slowly but surely giving little videos of my Ghostbusters collection. Because it's the 35th anniversary of Ghostbusters this year, so I want to have at least one Ghostbusters themed video a month. At least one. So, thanks for watching as usual. Like the video if you liked it. Share it with your pals if you think this is something they might want to see. Uh, if they like Ghostbusters or maybe they collect Diamond Select. Uh, and subscribe if you've not already subscribed. And tell your pals to subscribe. We're trying to build the numbers up, people. We're currently at 69 as I record this. of 69 subscribers. Nice. Nice. But I'd like more personally. So I share the video, subscribe, like, and all that nonsense. But don't forget to have a gidgeon.